Hi everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Here we are with the Green Goblin, looking utterly unbelievable, as I'm sure you can agree. Last time out, we did a delivery to... Uh, where are we? Jackpot in Nevada. So we are, we'll be looking to pick up a load from Jackpot and start painting in the Nevada map, I think. So we have, first up, we have some frozen fruits from Sell Goods to Walmart or Walberts or whatever it is in the game. Um, 36 and a half thousand pounds. Oh, we haven't been to, um, to Ely, which is quite interesting. We've got Elku is the other one, which is right next to uh, wherever that is. El okay, so it's, that is Elku. It's just outside. It's obviously now uh, a little depot on the outskirts. So we've been to Elku, so let's go to Ely. We will pick up this job. This sounds awesome. Frozen fruits in the desert. Sounds delightful. Here we are. It's early morning, 4.27. We've just had a little bit of a snooze, so we're fully refreshed and ready to uh, get on the road. Oh, we've got the parking brake on. So we'll take that off, and we may actually get a little bit further down the road. So we're just at the back of a motel here in Jackpot. And I am waiting. Oh, there you go. There's my sat nav on the actual dash is working. So we want to go left. Oh, these wing mirrors. They're just in the wrong place to actually have a look around the corner, aren't they? Right. Stop sign so we can stop. Nothing's coming. We seem to be stopping off a long way back from the actual main road junction itself. I don't know why that's a thing, but uh, yeah, it's okay. It's not a big problem. I guess it's for big trailers swinging in, maybe. Give them a little bit more room. Trucker friendly. Lovely. Right, so here's sell goods. So let's go and pick up these frozen fruits. Bish bash bosh to Ely. That's just the ticket. Brilliant. Right, so we'll swing, o swing over and pick these up right now. Oh, we've got a plain tray. Look at that. I oh, want a nice colourful one. Like that one. Near mind. Near mind. Creep up to this. There we go. Oh, that purr of the engine. Still to this day, that just absolutely lovely spine-chilling sound, isn't it? It's lovely. I mean, spine-chilling sound in a lovely way, not like a uh, probably actually probably goosebumpy is probably a better description than spine-chilling. Spine-chilling, you kind of think of scary and uh, spooky, but no, it's just ooh, goosebumpy in a pleasant way. I'm rambling. I apologise. So, uh, it is, I'm recording this Sunday evening, Sunday the 10th of April at 20 past 9 in the evening. Um, I usually do recording on a Sunday morning, but um, oh, look at that truck. I'll get to that in a minute. Let's just have a look at this truck. Oh, that has had a horrible wreck, isn't it? I reckon that looks like a wreck rather than anything else, doesn't it? Oof, nasty. I hope the driver was okay. Yeah, anyways, as I was saying, I'm recording this on uh, Sunday evening. Oh, we've got a giveaway line here. Got the UPS guys delivering over there. There's not much happening. Uh, yeah, so I'm recording this at late tonight because it's, um, it's the only time I've had it available, to be honest with you. I've been, I've been out all weekends. It's uh, one of the weekends where I get to spend all weekend with the, uh, with the other half, which is lovely. Um, so yeah, every other weekend we get to spend a lot of time together, which is great, and uh, it's just the way it works out at the moment, which is fantastic. Well, I'd like to see more, but obviously it's still good how we how it works. Um, so this weekend we've been out. Uh, we've been visiting. We visited and stayed in Norwich, in Norfolk, which is not a million miles away from me. Um, but we went around. It's obviously where I used to work, in fact. <laughs> And oddly, I very rarely actually, apart from working and obviously going out for drinks with the workmates and stuff, I very rarely go into Norwich. So, um, yeah, we went to Norwich. 
We did the castle tour. We did. We went around the dungeons and uh, looked at all the death masks, and that was, that was creepy. So, if you don't know what a death mask is, it was like a medieval thing. And the the castle of Norwich is where they used to do. Uh, it used to be a prison, and they obviously that's where the prisoners used to to go awaiting trial. Now the trials would usually happen quite quickly, you know, in a couple of weeks or whatever. And there's a bridge out on the castle, um, bridge to the over the moat. Well, it's not a moat; it's a ditch actually. Um, and what they do, they'd, they'd usually hang the people, like the big criminals, off that bridge. And what they did when the uh, when the uh, people were hanged, they would. There's an Italian guy who lived in Norwich in the, in, in the medieval times, and he would then make a basically a. Uh, it's called a death mask, but it's actually a. Um, I think it's made out of plaster. It's actually a really realistic sculpture of the entire head and neck. So you've got all these obviously faces of um, all these criminals who were hanged, and then they were going through some of the murders that these people committed. And oh, it's amazing! It's really good. And there's one guy who was obviously uh, who was actually. Executed in, in France, but um, for some reason the, uh, the the mask came over to uh, England, and uh, yeah, obviously he didn't have a neck because at that time they were guillotining, so that was pretty cool. Anyway, so that, so we did that. We went around the cathedral, which was lovely. Had a lovely meal out in the city, lovely. Uh, and then today, Sunday, um, we went up to the uh, the coast. So it was, had a lovely day in where was it? We went up to Cromer and Wells and Sheringham. Oh, it's lovely. Out on the pier, got absolutely blasted by the gale force wind coming off the sea, but oh, it was lovely. Just look at that. Actually, just look at that view with the, uh, the clouds of the mountains. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, anyway, that long drawn out uh, story was just to tell you I, this is the first time I've had time to actually sit down and uh, do anything. I'm just going to reset my track AR. There we go. I feel as though I'm so close to the steering wheel. Slow down as we come into a town. This is a real western feel of the town, isn't it? Still west. Nice. Yep, so I am a little bit tired after a lot very good, but... Um, very tiring weekend. Uh, I'm going to probably record this and then go to bed because I am pooped. <laughs> I'm absolutely pooped. So if I do go off on weird tangents, which I already have done, um, you'll understand why. So how have you guys been? It's uh, it's been not as long as it has been between uh, these kind of chats and uh, trucking videos, which is quite nice. Uh, we are going reasonably well on the YouTubes. Um, we can talk a little bit about that in a second. Um, yeah, still no movement on American Truck Simulator, as in there's no further content. I mean, come on now. This has been months. Where's where's the next part of the map, you know? Is anybody else a little bit concerned? Or is it just me that... The other one of the other states, I can't remember, was it Arizona which was next? I think it was Arizona. They said that was almost good to go in the in the game um, go live dates, uh, but yet yeah, it's been months and we've had no further news on it, which is a little bit concerning to me. I don't know about anyone else; it just feels a bit weird. And I know it's going to be a free DLC, which is good because everybody stated that, so they can't go back on it. Well, they can go back on it, but I doubt they will. But it's just come on. Where, where, where is it? Where is it? Seriously. And, and you know, I'm looking at Twitch, and Euro Truck is, you know, the numbers are all over Euro Truck. People are just dropping American Truck Simulator, which is a real shame. Because I think this is actually the truck, the driving has actually got a, a more. It feels slightly. I don't know. There's a slight difference in the driving. Oh my goodness! Look at those wrecked cars. There's a slightly different, a slight difference in the driving between. Euro truck and American truck. American truck feels, I don't know, a bit more responsive. It feels like you're actually 
yeah, it feels like you've, you've got the actual, you can feel the the grip between the tyres and the tarmac. Uh, that's just my interpretation anyway. Um, but Euro Truck is obviously, it's an older game, it's about four years old already, isn't it? So um, it's, it's holding up its age quite well, I think. Still a very enjoyable game. Although I have been starting to try and do some of those online jobs which you get from the World of Truck website. And I don't know about anyone else, but half the time those jobs just crash the game every time. It could be that I'm running pro mods or something and it doesn't really like pro mods 100%, but yeah. I have had the odd issue with that going, you know, left, right and centre. So, yeah. I'm sure that is probably a mod conflict rather than anything else, but um, yeah. So, I am a little bit frustrated with American Truck Simulator. Not because it's not enjoyable and not good. It's just like Where's the rest of the content? Come on. It's been months now. Come on. Get your act together. And I, and I wonder if it's a case of the company not really set up for having a major game and supporting it. You know, because uh, Euro Truck Simulator's popularity, I think, surprised a lot of people, especially the company, SES. And I know they did a huge recruitment uh, drive to uh, support this game as well. But it, it just... It just doesn't feel that it's really running at full efficiency, shall I say. I'm sure they're working really hard. I've got no doubt in that as, at all. And I am pleased, don't get me wrong, if they're not happy with it, then I am happy that they're not releasing it, but they should say something, you know? Not, not just we'll, we'll release it when it's ready. As well, you said it was almost ready anyway, so what? why have you delayed it. Anyway, I, I'm probably really labouring the point. Um, still a great game, still really enjoying it, but yeah, come on. Let's have something new. I'm desperate for something new, I think. Not that I've completed this map, but it'd be just nice to add a little bit more content. Anyway, we've only got an hour to go on the actual in-game time, which is going to be like five minutes, so I better um, zip through my points a little bit. Um, so yeah, American Truck Simulator, we'll still do some more of that. Bus Simulator. I'm really enjoying Bus Simulator. I may now look to see if I can get the steering wheel to work with it a little bit better. Um, we'll see if that works and uh, we'll go from there. But I'm really enjoying that. I know some people aren't, but um, I enjoy it. And a lot of you still enjoy that. What the hell was that? <laughs> Did you see that shadow? Was that a, a, a plane going over, I think? Um... And yes, yeah, so we've got, we got many more challenges to try and complete all our objectives on there, which is great fun, really enjoying that. Um, and yes, once we complete the objectives and the main part of that game, we will probably have a look at OMSI Bus Simulator as well. Which is uh, which would be cool. Oh, come on! That... Where, where's the huge convoy of trailers behind those trains? Those trains are really powerful, they can pull so much. So yep, uh, bus simulator is gonna go, is going strong, and I'm enjoying it. And we will probably continue with a bit of a bus theme afterwards, uh, with a bit of bombsy as well. But you know that's coming. And when I say that's coming, don't expect it to be in the next couple of weeks. It will be after when I'm ready. It'll come. Um, but that's good. Farming sim, uh, I'm still really enjoying that, especially with the uh, the up uh, the, the sorry the soil mod, which is uh, increased the complexity of it. And I have noticed that the Melbury State, the, the standard map, the fixes have been released about a week ago, in fact. So uh, if you don't want to do all the editing like I have done, the map is now, uh, an updated version of the map is now available for you to use, which is great news. I am going to stay with the original one, the one I already have, because I have done all the um, editing to put soil mod into it. And I can't be bothered to go through all that again. And we've just set up, we've just cleared the, uh, the secondary farm and uh, set up our pigs and beef cattle. So I'm not going to worry about um, going back and doing anything else. I'm going to continue with the build, the, uh, the setup I have created, which I'm quite enjoying. Um, so that's going to continue, which is cool. Um, ski regional simulator. That's going to continue for a little bit more. There's people still enjoying it, which is great. I'm still enjoying it. 
Got lots to do in it. Um, I pulled into this lane to get round that parked cars, but now they're going to turn off, aren't they? Ah well. It's fine. So yeah, Ski Regional Simulator will continue for a little while until uh, we get a bit fed up with it or we get stuck and we don't go any further, which is cool. And is that, is that it? Hang on. Uh, city Economy. So City Economy. We haven't done a video for about a couple of weeks, but I am still playing it. I'm trying to basically grind up some of the skill points because we've done pretty much all the jobs that we, we have available and you don't want to just keep seeing different episodes when I'm just basically rinsing and repeating the same kind of activities. Uh, I don't think you want to see that. It's probably not going to be the most interesting and people get bored of it. So I'm trying to grind up in the background and and seeing then if we can't um, when you come back for the next episode. Hopefully I'll be recording the episode in the next week or so because I have, I have skilled up a little bit and I have bought a couple of trucks and a couple of buildings which I'll talk you through so um, yeah City Economy fans you can expect the video probably in the next well to be recorded in the next week or so uh, so it'll probably coming out in about a week's time let me get behind this truck so that's cool obviously not many more videos of that because it's coming to an end anyway uh, I will like to get everything completed I'm going to grind it out because why not and then I may put all the trucks together and you can see how hard we've worked which is quite cool but I wanted to show everyone the uh, the different aspects and tasks available in that game and that leaves only one thing which is Silent Hunter 5 now the first video went out yesterday there is a second video recorded so I recorded the first video and the second video back to back so um, the mistakes from the first video will probably maybe carry over into the second video I've learned a lot in those two videos um, so expect some changes in the third video right let's see where they want us to park so for 40 XP park there yeah for 40 XP it's really not worth it so we'll stick it over there which is fine Yep, so uh, the Silent Hunt will be a series. Are we Are we actually snagged? Oh, yes, we are. And we've got a sh... What's that car thing? What? Seriously? Oh, come on. Don't you bit me. Don't bit me. Just go round. Just go round. Oh, no, look. Look what you've done. Ah, oh, honestly, what are they like? Right. I can't. He's gonna. It's gonna snag again. You can maybe scrape it a little bit. All right, we've released the cars. Cool. Right. Is that everyone gone? Go by. Go by. I need to back out. Okay, we're back in the game. Don't go too close to that lamppost. Yeah, oh, we thread the eye of a needle then. That was quite good. Poor first gear. I'm sorry, first gear. I'm wrecking you. Yep. Um, so we've got. Oh, I think that was it already. I was going to try and straighten her up and do a little bit neater than that, but nope, she went straight in almost.
Right. Let's bring this in nice and straight. We gotta be there, haven't we? we oh, a bit forward a bit more. There we go. Nicely done. Perfecto mondo, excelente. Frozen fruits delivered from Jackpot to Ely. 221 miles of the journey. Time taken 531 5 hours 31 minutes. Fuel consumed 35.3 gallons. Can't read. We are moving our way through level 6. Fantastic. And another 4 grand and almost 200 XP added. Coolio, right. We're growing great guns. It's, it feels slow progress on this. There doesn't seem to be any good money coming in so far. Uh, oh, 6,000. Ooh. Oh, it's miles away. Okay, fair enough. Well, there are some money. We need to do our um, certificates to try and bring in some more hazardous material to bring out in the money. Before we go, let's have a quick look at our company and see how our two new drivers, which if you may be able to remember from last time, we hired. So we got our San Fran depot and we our revenue is $81,000. $3,000 are spent as truck maintenance. 21,000 drivers pay and 3,800 for fuel, which is a daily profit of seven and a half thousand dollars, which is not bad for a starter company. I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, 53,000 profit so far, which is great. So we've got um, Madison. Uh, she's driven almost a thousand miles already. That's amazing. Profit per distance is three uh, three and a half dollars per mile, which is okay. She's coming along nicely, and we've got Hanka. Um, she's done seven hundred miles, and her profit look at that four point one seven dollars a mile. Happy days! So things are going great. The, the two lady drivers are bringing XR Logistics forward through to America and we are smashing the market which is great I, I'm obviously overplaying that quite a lot but you know what I mean anyway it's good anyway that has been a very quick update on what's happening on the channel I probably haven't gone into too much detail I probably rambled on a little bit too much about my weekend and American Truck Simulator but apart from that um, that's pretty much everything in a nutshell Depending on how things are going, um, uh, there may be some extra content. Keep an eye on Twitter just in case I feel like doing a stream sometime this week. That may happen. It may not, but it may happen. Keep an eye out. You never know. Anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Another American Truck Simulator delivery completed. More channel ramblings um, delivered as well. And I'm going to say thanks for watching, and I'll sign out now. Cheers, guys. Catch you later.